Showbiz Shelley here at the AMC River East Movie Theater downtown for the premiere of Jeremy Piven's new film, The Goods, Live Hard, Sell Hard. He's going to be walking the red carpet here in just a couple minutes, so why don't we go on over so we can get our interview with him. First of all, I'm a Northwestern grad, so I know your hometown very well, the Evans. Evanston. Evanston, indeed, yeah. What's it like doing the premiere here back at home? It's unbelievable. It makes all the sense in the world to be here. You know, you want to bring it home. I'm so incredibly tired, but this, this, but this town is giving me energy. I literally just got off a plane. Uh, we had a premiere last night in Vegas, so um, there hasn't been a great deal of sleep. But I'm insanely proud of this movie. Um, I've been in a, in a lot of movies, and this is definitely the funniest one I've ever been a part of, just in terms of sheer laughs. And you play a used car, car salesman in it, right? Yeah, I play a car salesman, uh, Don the Goods Ready. How do you prepare for the role of a car salesman? Do you study them, or you just kind of went with it? How do you do that? Yeah, you, you, I had a lot of conversations with them. I went on lots, and there's a really great uh, documentary called Slashers about guys who actually slash prices and go around the country. and. They do what my character does, which is uh, to bring a celebrity onto the lot. And um, unfortunately, the only person we could find was Bo Bice's brother, who doesn't show up. So my character has to sing. He doesn't have the best voice in the world. He's very delusional, and a riot ensues. It's, it's you know, Will Ferrell and Ed Helms and, and Craig Robinson and some of the best comedic actors on the planet. And you're singing the seventh inning stretch tomorrow at the Cubs game, is that right? I am going to sing the seventh inning stretch, and I'm going to throw the first pitch out tomorrow. Are you nervous? Uh, not until the, you just made me nervous. <laughs> Thanks. Do you have a bad voice in real life? Because then you might be in trouble. Um, I don't have the greatest voice, but take me out to the ball game is, is like, it's it's foolproof. You don't really have to hit the high notes. Bad, you start low, take me out. There you go. There you, that was a good sample. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. And uh, I have to move. Okay, what's your last question? Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say to you, uh, are you going to go out tonight at all? I know that last time I saw you were actually at Underground. I didn't say anything. Though. I was too embarrassed. Oh, I. you know what? I may hit Underground tonight, yeah. but they may have to take me out on a stretcher because uh, it's been. I've been on the road for three weeks with this movie, and I feel, I feel a little beat up. So Billy Deck may have to carry on without me at some point, but I'm going to try to make it. Is that your girlfriend you brought? She's really pretty, the blonde one. The blonde one? No. I just, no, those are. I don't my, mean to No, it's okay. Those are all three of my friends that that uh, the guys I grew up with, and yeah. and she is uh, related to my my good friend. Oh, are you dating anybody? You know? No. Oh, okay, single guy. Thank you, Jerry. Good luck with the film.